Hello again. Good morning. It's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. At an unusual time of day because we've got to go celebrate our anniversary tonight. Ten years we made it. Wow. Okay, so I have a black 16 by 20 inch canvas that's pre-primed. And I am going to add a thin layer of paint to it using my OXO omelette turning spatula. Flip and fold. I discovered these. They are on my Amazon link, which is underneath the link tree, which is right under the video. I want to do this fairly quickly. Oh, I just remembered I forgot to check my copper. Well, I'll take care of that in a second. Now, I've done this with, with too much of a layer in the background, and I don't like how it works for me. So I like to thin, spread it thinly. But you can't have it too thin, or depending on the environment you're in, it will dry out too quickly. I am going to do a flow troll swipe with cards, acetate cards. You could probably use a playing card. I don't think it matters what you use, as long as it has a flexibility that's comfortable for you. I'm going to put some colors right down the center of this canvas. I want this to be a fairly simple process. Let's see if I can manage it. I have a shovel and I want to use that copper. I really want to I know I said I wanted it to be right down the middle, but I just can't do things the same way everybody else does. So this is, um, I don't know who that was by, I think it might be Decor Americana um, Copper. So this is a Golden Hour, which is a pearlescent, and it's from Arteza. And it doesn't matter if things cross over at all. Hopefully I'll just grab my Floatrol in my little container, put some out in my dish to dip my card into. Doesn't matter that there's some other paint in there. I was going to use a shovel and I might still do that. Um, no, I'm not going to worry about it. I do want some white and meat as metallic though. I'm being random. I think you could probably be random too if you were going to do this. Let's cross our fingers and hope that it works. I want something darker and more, more interesting in there. And I wasn't going to put any purple in there, but it's calling me so loudly I can't resist. I'm also thinking I might wind up using a shovel full of paint down the center once I do this, but we shall see. These are really interesting colors for me, not my usual. I'm going to use some regular Decor at Americana 24 karat gold because I like the way it sells. And then I'm going to put a little bit of acrylic enamel from Folk Art around. and through, <laughs> just so I make sure I have some everywhere. And then I'm just going to take my big card, which is what about the size of a file card. I think I need more purple. Matter of fact, I'm going to go for the purple flash from Folk Art, which is a color shifting color. Yeah, that, that pops and that's what I want. Right there, I want some pop. That's excellent. All right, so let's just do this from the center out. Excellent, I like that, that's cool. Very, very interesting pattern, I like it. I don't wanna wipe this residual off on the canvas edge because it's black down there, so I'm gonna wipe it off on my little scrape dish. Which is nothing more than a Michael's party section. Very well used now. Oh, I'm loving those cells. I, d I don't want to 
go e equidistantly. This might be really fast, which would be okay with me, because that'll give me enough time to do another painting, and I'm running a little short on time today. I'm supposed to be packing up to go away for overnight. So I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I made this offset design, and I'm going to just keep following through with it. And so I'm not starting at the same place in the whole center. I'm going to use the shorter side of the card. So we have very much a variety of designs. I could have used some more of that purple. I really like that purple in there. Matter of fact, I like that purple so much in there. I'm going to put some more in. A little more flow troll. Maybe a little more of the golden hour too. I don't mind the modeling at the bottom. It reminds me of uh, when I what happens when I do my landscapes. The more pressure I put on the card, the more paint I pull when I pull the card. Which doesn't seem to be a problem right now. I do I wonder if I have enough black there. Like that. I like all those cells. Those cells are great. So this is just straight flow troll and not very much. I don't think I need the whole width of the card there. Super simple, kind of different colors. I really like them. I'm not sure about this area here, but maybe if I pull enough paint down, it'll balance it out. I think I want a little bit more of everything that I love right there, starting with that. And I'm going to go back to the long side of the card again. Yes! Cool. I thought about going into the center and dropping down a shovel full of paint across and then um, dropping it, but right now I kind of like the reflective quality of the whole, the whole de design. Scrape off my card, wipe it off on my paint clothes. And I want to say this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery inviting you to check out some of my 1800 videos that you will find if you look for them on my YouTube channel playlist. Under all playlists and creative playlists, I think I want a little bit more of this. And the black enamel pretty much guarantees that I get what I want. As far as cells go, if the flow troll didn't do it, the black enamel would. So now I get to decide what, if anything, I want to do. And I kind of want to play still, which means I could grab a smaller swipe card with a nice smooth end please and maybe just experiment boy you know I really like a lot of this stuff in there and I don't want to mess with it too badly but I'm going to use a little bit of enamel and take my chances and just add some rogue elements that break up the hard line down the center the hard lines I should say yeah, I like that better. I was nervous. Still a little nervous. Definitely don't want to do much to the purple. So, what should I tell you? Please give me a thumbs up. It helps my standing on YouTube. When you make comments, that's also helpful. And you keep my morale boosted, so thank you very much. Thank you for the donations that help keep me, been, keep me painting all this time. There's a monthly drawing every month if you want to take a chance. You might win a painting by making a donation to help keep the studio creating videos. Thank you to everybody who has. Sorry about I have the sniffles today. That's weird. It's unusual. I think that's pretty cool. I want to break up some of those hard lines and I don't ever mind putting the edge of my card 
right into my pattern, pull some paint. That really reminds me a lot of reflections on the water. So what else should I tell you? I have Teespring clothing under the video. All over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. These would look pretty cool on some leggings. I'm going to torch to release some bubbles caught in the paint. I'm not going to worry about changing anything. I think I like those dark spots sort of balance each other out on both sides. I like the patterns. You could almost think of it as a geometric. But I really appreciate leaving the, the drag marks from the card. So, please like my videos by giving me a thumbs up. I, I asked that already. Please share my videos. Know that when you watch them longer, you increase my standing on YouTube. And when you watch them when notifications come out, the same thing happens. It's a big assistance to me. The link tree under the video has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expression Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. We'll show you tomorrow's video most times. Expression to Start Studio Gallery totes and more will take you to Pixels.com and Fine Art America if you use the Shop Now button, but you can also find that on the link tree. Uh, my email address is below the link tree, and you can contact me there if you have an interest in making a purchase or inquiring about a lesson. You're more than welcome to do so. You can always ask me questions. If you need information, I will do my best. If I have it, I'll share it. If I don't, I'll tell you so. What else? What else? What else? My community board on my Facebook... Excuse me. My, my community board on my YouTube channel. Uh, We'll show you tomorrow's video, and you can find the Teespring and, excuse me, you can find the PayPal and the Patreon icons on the lower right-hand corner of the, of the channel um, banner. Also, you can find those links on the, on the link tree. What else? What else? I have two books on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is on the link tree. You can find Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. I want to th say thank you again for all, of, all that you guys do for me to keep me painting here. I really, really like this a lot. I'm so glad you joined me. I have 1,800 videos, and uh, don't forget, you can ask me questions. If you need a link, you can ask me for a link. I will see you guys. Non. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio. Sure that I'm forgetting something, but um, I can't remember what it is, so it doesn't matter. You'll see it in another video. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. No, I love you. Bye for now. Priscilla out.